my name is Abhishek Jain and through this video I'm just gonna explain how can we build text to speech converter in a Python language and the topic I choose this because last week I just published a video which actually explain how can we create our own text summarizer with the help of an NLTK module for any website content right and I will provide the link of that video in the description below so if you are interested then you can watch that right so what happens is the moment I just got the summarize for the big content which we having on a website I was just reading through it and the thought came in my mind is there a possibility that I can listen that summary rather than just reading through it right so I just tried to do the googling and then find out uh, the way that there is only a less than 10 line of code we need to just create our own text to speech converter so let's quickly jump into the demo part and see how can we do that okay so the very first thing which we have to do is there is one module in python which is known as gtts which stands for google text to speech which is nothing but a python library which actually an abstraction layer through which we can just access the google exposed api which is known as text to speech which actually translate our text into the audio object and we can just save it and we can just you know listen to that so the very first thing which we have to do is we have to just pip install gtts this is the module which we need to install it so it looks good because it has been successfully installed right and if i just show you if i just run the program which i have written which i have right which i have which we have written in the last video where we have just created a summary of you know the website and the website was the wikipedia page for the machine learning right uh, this is the wikipedia page and this is the summary which we are getting right you can see this and i just thought that if i can just listen to this right so that's the only that's that's the only triggering point for me to just uh, uh, go for exploring how can how can i just create my own text to speech converter and then i just come across that i have to write only less than 10 line of code right so let's uh, let's quickly jump into this and let's just see how can we do that okay so uh, let me just open a new file and the very first thing which we have to do is we have to just uh, import we have to import the class gtts and we know that how we can find out that right so wherever your site packages in your machine you can go there and you will find this gtts folder here you can see all the codes which we have so this is what the beauty of python module you can just see the source code okay so what i'm doing is i'm just you know importing this gtts and if you want to see what all methods do we have here right and we know that how can we find that out we can do this gtts and then import gtts okay and then i can just print dir gtts and that would give me what all options we have like we have save right to f right to fp and all those stuff right so now what i'm gonna do is the next thing which we have to do is we have to just have one another import i wanted to do sub process because why i'm just uh, including this because i want to execute my audio player i just downloaded one audio player which is known as mpg123 and there are a lot of audio audio player like i mean you know we have uh pilot pygelet i believe then we have whatever the game uh, game uh, library we have i think through which we can run this audio files we have panda 3d also i think that also provide that we have win sound that also can help us to listen that but don't worry about that the was the very first thing which we need to understand how we can convert our text into the speech or the audio file so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna create one module uh, i'm just gonna give a name let's say a text to speech converter method just gonna accept let's say i want to just convert my summary which i just uh build okay and the next thing and the very simple thing which we have to do is we have to just you know create an object of tts object text to speech object equals to i just need to pass few parameter for gtts text you can see all these stuff so text the very first thing which we have to pass is text so we have a summary which i want to pass then we have a language and i just wanted to have languages in okay and then what i can do is i think we are good right and then what i have to do is i have to just use this tts object as we know that there is one function known save and i can just you know save it and i can give the name of first text to speech audio dot mp3 
me i'm just gonna save it with the mp3 okay then uh, what i have to do is if i want to execute this mp3 file and let's first just see whether this is working fine or not and afterwards we can just include that part also and i just need to pass any text whatever i can pass let's say hello abhishek just save it text to speech let me just keep it to speech converter okay and if i run it this is done and if i Each converter I should be having that name. Yeah, so this has been done. If I just click on it, so we are done. So now what we need is we just need to create a speech file for this summary. So what I have to do, I have to copy this and I have to just replace this text with this. And if I just save it, then it should work fine. But now what I want is I want to, you know listen to this right uh, rather than explicitly i am just running on the vlc player so i have this mpg123 you can search for mpg123 audio player and you will get the download link and you can just download it and here you have this mpg mpg123 axz so what i have to do is i have to just give the name of i have to define this so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna give audio Then I have to just give the executable name and the executable name is okay so we are done now what I have to do is I have to just use a sub process module that that actually gonna help me to run it and in sub process we have call which accept you know the list of there is a lot of concept related to the sub process call but that is not something which i wanted to cover in this video it's just that you have to just pass the list of which is your executable and which parameter you have to pass to that executable and this is what i wanted to pass okay i think we are done let's see if it is working fine let me just save it and run it <coughs> So if this works and we are done with the text to speech converter for the summary which we have created with the text summarizer and let's see. Yes, so it works. So, so that's it from my side for this particular video. If you have any feedback or suggestion which you think that I should be, you know, I should implement for making our, my videos more easy to understand and simple to understand. And so please feel free to put that feedback and suggestion in the comment section. I would love to incorporate that. And as always, stay healthy, keep learning a new stuff. And if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you really like the video. And if you feel that these video can help your friends and groups, please feel free to share with your friends and your groups. And I would be more than happy to hear that, you know, there are my videos are helping, you know, the larger audience in the IT industry. Thanks for watching this. And as always, stay healthy, keep learning.